Hello everybody, Catboy Vine here. If you watched my last review, then you knew this one was coming. Well, it's another Halo review. This time we do Kata! From the Halo Reach Series 2 Advance Wave. Anyway, let's get to Kata! Uh, let's see, let's see. Go with detail real quick. He has a little um, radio thing on his thing. <laughs> God, his helmet. God, I need sleep. Um, his helmet's very nice. Uh, it's a very nice blue color. Uh, you see this knife here? Yeah, it doesn't come off. Bummer. Uh, chest plate has an, has something on it. I have no idea. What here. Um, that's really it. Um, there's a white paint stripe here. Uh, the shoulder pads are this and this. God, I have no idea what they're called. God, I'm a horrible, horrible fan. There's one other thing, but I'm going to point that out in a minute. Okay, let's go with articulation. Head's a little weird to me. Uh, the head moves up and down, turns 360, but it can also do a little circular pattern, which is a little weird. Uh, articulation goes about this far up, then up and down, turn 360, bend to the elbows, that turns 360, and moves up and down and turns 360 which is awesome waist articulation can move slightly up and down turn 360 probably actually no it doesn't even feel like it can kind of stiff Whatever. Uh, the legs can spread out about this far out um, legs move about this far up this far back. Um, bend of the kneecaps here, which turn 360. Uh, feet move up and down. God, that's a little stiff at first. Uh, the feet can turn 360. For some reason, this foot's a really, really, really loose. Which is slightly annoying. And um, the foot moves feet move up and down and turn 360. Yeah, articulation is standard pretty much. So that's that he a bit of that head articulation which is a little weird personally. Um, accessories. A customized DMR. Without that, um, without the, I don't even know what that's called. Um, yeah, whatever that thing's called. I would bring another one out, but I already made, I already started working on that, and I didn't think that through. God, I need to go to bed. Um, but it fits purely in his hand, as you can see. It's a little loose, a little bit. That's fine. As you can see, it pretty much this is a good DMR, I think. Which is card is supposed to be a signature weapon. And the other thing is this frag grenade. But there's a problem. See the back? Where, where this thing is, it prevents you from putting any grenades on his back. This might just be from the advance wave. It might edit that or something in the wave 2. But I doubt. But I tru in truth, I doubt that. This is, that is very, very weird, and does have a problem with the figure. But, I don't really care. I can just stick the grenade in. Stick this grenade here, on the back of the CQC again.
There we go. Okay, um, also a few side notes here. Um, as of making this video, this is pretty close to Christmas time. Uh, there should be... Yeah, for... Next two days. Uh, today and tomorrow I'll be releasing new footage that I just made today. Um, wait, that made more sense than the point. God, I can't. I really, really need sleep. God, I can't think straight. Anyway, there's uh. To Christmas, there's going to be new footage pretty much straight. Not, I'm still in backlog territory and probably will be for quite a while. Especially Christmas. Um, but don't worry, you'll be able to see what I have in my backlog. Probably won't make as much sense. Um, I just want to do these things early though. Because this is brand new and... People are talking about them, so I want to talk about it too, I guess. Um, let's see. The advance. I, I said I would mention the advance wave. That's something I do remember. Um, the advance wave figures are the first time McFarlane did this, I I think, the first time, I don't know, was the release of Halo Reach. Um, it was a th four pack box set. They came with Emil, George, Elite Miner, Blue, and a Neon Green um, Spartan Mark V B. Yeah, it, it was a very good deal. You got four figures for a total of $30, which they're sold single cardly for about $10 each. Very. Varying prices, depending on location. But it was a pretty good deal. And you also got only one figure that was only exclusive to that box set. But through a capitalistic standpoint, selling the figures single-cardedly does make more sense. And releasing only one of the main characters from the, from the game does make a little more sense than... Well, they did last wave where they released two of them. Well, in that wave, in the first series, they also sold a Noble Six, single cardly, too. But whatever. Um, figure, uh, this is a pretty good figure, I think. Uh, very nice. Um, you go to that back, but the back thing prevents the grenade. That's a little annoying, but I don't care. I don't really care. I, I like this Carter figure, and I cannot wait, I repeat, I cannot wait for Cat. And then June. And then I have Noble Team. <laughs> well, that's it for this review. I'm Catboy Van. thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. I really need to go to bed now. Bye.